fellow squids. Squid Research Lab here. New to Splatoon? Here's what you need to know about... the Splatoon 3 game! Ink the ground in walls in kid form. And easily move through it in swim form. Leverage these fresh moves for turf war battles. Two teams of four ink as much turf as they can in their team's color for three minutes. Spread your ink and splat your opponents. The team that inks the most turf wins. Battle stages include Scorch Gorge, Eel Tail Alley, Hagglefish Market, Undertow Spillway, and many others with different layouts. Ink every inch of turf. Or splat opponents to stop them in their tracks. Play however you like. Main weapons are your go-to for inking turf. Observe. Shooters are easy to control for firing ink. Chargers build up power to hit far away targets. Rollers cover a lot of ground in one go. Stringers shoot ink in three directions. And Splatanas send blades of ink flying. There are plenty of other ink-credible weapons to try out, so find the one that suits your splatting style. Each main weapon is paired with a sub-weapon, like splat bombs and sprinklers that can help you claim more turf. Each main weapon also comes with a special weapon. Ink turf to fill up the special meter. Once it's full, that's your chance to unleash your special weapon! Cling to walls to get the drop on opponents. Suck up enemy ink! Or give your allies a beverage-based boost. Lean into your weapon skills to turn the tides of battle! Simply Splat-tastic! <laughs> Feel like a splatting pro? Join Anarchy Battles! Splat zones, claim designated areas on the map. Tower control, ride the tower to the goal. Rainmaker, carry the Rainmaker to its destination. Clam Blitz! Collect and throw clams to score! Anarchy battles are where you'll put your skills, strategies, and teamwork to the test. Can you emerge inktorious? This is Splatsville. Only the trendiest inklings and octolings hang around here. That includes you! Grab fresh weapons here, and even fresher stat-boosting gear, like clothing and shoes. You'll find the lobby in the center of Splatsville. Test out weapons while waiting for your next battle. Customize your locker with your favorite items. Go into recon mode and scope out your favorite stages. Check out View Replays, which recreate recent battles. Use them to review battles from different perspectives, including that of your opponents. Incredible! Around town, you can play this in-game card-based battle game. Table Turf Battle! Lay down your cards on the battlefield to claim as much turf as you can! There's over 150 cards to choose from! So build your deck and get dueling! This manhole looks fishy. Go right! It's the entrance to the home of the Octarians, the Inkling's long-time enemies. Use all sorts of weapons to fight the Octarians. We still haven't figured out why they're covered in fur, though. Get to the bottom of this story and clear stages with your small fry buddy. Story mode is also perfect for getting the hang of the controls. This 
is Salmon Run, a dangerous job not helped by the attacking Salmonids. Four players will work together to collect as many golden eggs as they can to complete the job within the time limit. But beware! A king salmon egg might show up, so be prepared for a heated encounter! Whoa! It appears that Splatsville will go all out for Splatfest! Pick from one of three teams, then settle the outcome in Turf War Battles! Later, the Splatfest will get even more chaotic with a tri-color Turf War! Splatoon 3 will stay fresh for at least two years after launch, with additional weapons and stages gradually being added. My refreshing <laughs> report on Splatoon 3. Available now only on Nintendo Switch.